Hello everyone, welcome back to the Scrap and Stamp YouTube channel. It's Jess here, and today I'm sharing an adorable jungle card featuring flock transfer sheets. Here's a look at the supplies we'll be using today. Decofoil flock sheets in emerald green, Decofoil duo transfer gel, Heffy Doodles Chimply the Best, and Lawn Fawns Too Can Do It. As always, I'll have links in the description box below. Let's dive right in. Next, I'm going to grab a piece of white cardstock and my Heffy Doodle Fancy Foilage Stencil. Normally, I would use Pixie Spray or my Waffle Flower Media Mat to help secure the stencil, but because I'm using Transfer Gel, I decided to just use washi tape. So once I'm done, I can throw out the copy paper and place my tools in soapy water until I'm able to wash them thoroughly. It's a little painful using my pretty doodle bug washi tape, but in this case, I think it's worth it. To start, I'm going to take a little bit of the duo gel and apply it carefully to my stencil pal. The stencil pal ensures a smooth, perfect layer every time. And I can take away any excess and put it back to use later. Be sure to always wipe around the lid before you put away the duo gel so it doesn't dry together. Once I'm happy with the result, I'm going to quickly remove the washi tape, and the reveal is always my favorite part. When you first apply the duo gel, it will look white, similar to, say, a textured paste. You will need to set it aside for about two hours or until it turns clear. Here's a comparison. Through the magic of YouTube, I have a second sheet all ready to go. Now it's time to apply the flock. I folded a piece of parchment paper and added the flock sheet first. Then I added our stencil duo gel background facing down and finally a scrap piece of cardstock. I'm going to use my Gemini Junior and wanted to protect our background from any cut marks that may be on the plates. I'm going to add this to my regular thin die sandwich and run it through my machine. You can also achieve the same results with a laminator or a mink. And now it's time for the reveal. <laughs> I love it. It's so fluffy. Next, I created an A2 size stitch rectangle with an added dome focal point using nesting dies for my stash. To finish off the scene, I'm going to add very faint clouds using tumble glass oxide ink. I'm making sure to start the blend off the paper and with a very light hand. I love how the stencil is so easy to use. Just rotate and you have a whole new look. It's time to color in these cuties. Today we're using Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend Markers. When I'm coloring small images, I like to go from darkest to lightest, moving between colors in small circular motions. Once I'm happy with the blend, I'll go in and add highlights if necessary. Which one of these jungle cuties are your fave? I have to go with my MVP, the Salamander. I think he's my favorite all-time lawn fawn critter. And those heffy doodle monkeys, they're so cheeky. <laughs> Love them. While I'm coloring, I just wanted to go over the proper paper and ink you'll need for these markers. So I stamped all of these images using Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and I stamped them on Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth cardstock, or a Nina cardstock would be perfect as well.
we are going all out for this card a flocked ink background, bunches of cuties, and now an embossed sentiment strip. I'm gonna start by treating the cardstock with my anti-static powder tool and stamp, it's your birthday, go bananas with Versamark ink. I'm gonna let my heat gun warm up and then apply evenly so I don't burn or warp the paper. All we need to do now is trim it down. Now it's time to arrange our scene. I wanted the vines to be adhered inside our dome and have the little monkeys hanging from them. I've added 3D foam tape to our cuties for added dimension. To finish off the card, I added a hint of glossy accents to the banana and the toucan speak. Of course, no card is complete without coordinating sequins. And that's the card. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time. Mm -hmm.